Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha ala. Kholoyim la, yahuwa ba shim yahuwa shai, ba hashim, rakha hachodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the akim and akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And wanted to touch on this, uh, a comment that I got in my comment board. And I, because I made a comment on this particular video right here, which I normally don't do, but I left a scripture. Um, and this is um, the young lady, River, if you're familiar with her. River TV, she's pretty much, she, she she mostly stands up for the so-called black man, so to speak. She gets it here and there. I mean, most of the time she gets it. Sometimes she'll say some stuff, you know what I'm saying, that just, you know, whatever. Anyway, but this wasn't, um, she was going off into the article article with this, um, what happened to this guy in Chicago with the, um, the so, you know, the woman she put his, you know, Posted his location. She was basically not. He's not here. He's not here. You know, so to speak. You know, she had, you know, put out there. He be robbing you and he be doing this and he be doing that. And he make it home safe every day. And I don't know what he done to her to make her give up his location like that. But supposedly an hour later, you know, the brother was out of there. Right. So I left. Um, Let me go into the comment. Let me see here. Salaki, uh, let's see if I can get this comment. Where is it at? So this guy right here, J-E-T-V, right? So I left Sarak 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given to, is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord, right? So this is Sarak, right? Now this is the Apocrypha, the Apocrypha. So you had to be, familiar with you know what i'm saying hebrew israelites when it comes to the apocrypha because the, the the hebrew israelites are the only ones that bring it out the only ones that use it so his comment right here stop false claiming people heritage with the laughing emoji so what does he mean by that that means that he knows that he's heard about the hebrew israelites which he's marked so if he doesn't repent he's gonna get that business the only way that he could have left a remark like this, stop false claiming people heritage. You see? What is he, you already know? He he's heard of the Hebrew Israelites. This truth is blazing throughout the whole earth. So he's heard about it, but guess what? He's scoffing. So when he left that, I left another um comment. I says, um, <laughs> that ninja's dead, ain't he? She was she was a wicked botch, right? You know, I kind of spelled it different. You know what I'm saying? That's true, and so is this heritage. And the real proof is you scoffing, which the scriptures say will be happening in the last days. Three, sti three strikes, you're out. <laughs> so that's what I left, right? So let's just grab a couple of scriptures. Now, let's see. Uh, let's just put in the word scoffers, right? This guy knows. He knows about the Israelites. Second Peter 3 and 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Let's go into that. Mockers, scoffers, you know, what we do know. Hey, we can clearly see he knows he knows about the Israelites. But he doesn't believe this. He's just a Negro that just believe that he's black. He's Hispanic. I mean, um, you know, he he's African-American. You know, this is the way that this guy's thinking. And matter of fact, when I went to his page, I was disgusted to, to just be straight, <laughs> to just straight be honest about it, man. I don't even want to go to his page to even show you. But it says a mocker, scoffer. Let's go off into this word mocker. We're going to define it in the, let's get Google's definition real quick. A person who mocks someone or something. See? Let's, uh... Let's go back. Ah, Salakia. What the hell is this? Salakia. Scoffer. Let's get Scoffer. A person who mocks or makes fun of someone or something often of religion or moral values. See? <laughs> so he's a complete scoffer. He could have let he could have kept that that to himself. As a matter of fact, 
to just, you know, I didn't even want to go off into his page, but check this guy out, man. This is all he got on his page. He's he he's his his emo his 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 picture here, he's half fucking naked. You see what I'm saying? Like th this is what we're dealing with out here. Oh, nigga, who do you think you are? <laughs> why would you be on and the scriptures talks about not looking upon a man's nakedness. That's why I didn't even want to go off into this nigga shit. So when I so, and I'm saying nigga because he's a he he he's the mentality and mindset of 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 a nigga, man. This is a nigga. You know what I'm saying? So when I go off into his his, his you know his his hookup, or oh, look at this nigga, man. I I don't want you to look at him, but yeah, I mean, come on, bro. This is all he got on here. A bunch of videos from three years ago of him trying to exercise, showing it himself. Look at this shit, bro. Retarded. This is all he got on here. See? Now, we trying to let the children of Israel know, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that they are Hebrew Israelites. And all this nigga right here got the, you know what I'm saying? And what did, um, Salakia. I got my alarm set, um, 1044, baby, the chariots, <laughs> I got all them bad boys, uh, alarm go off at 144, 1044, 44, <laughs> hey, I, you know, just a reminder, man, just to just keep me, my mindset on focusing on this truth, man, straight up, this dude, this, this, this don't make no motherfucking sense right here, now, let's get another, let's see, Salakia, because what did Paul say? Let me see if I can find that one scripture. And and those videos was from three years ago. You ain't you you. Well, he probably out here, uh, uh four hundred pounds right now. <laughs> Let me see. First Timothy four and eight for bodily exercise profited little. But godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. So, and, and the video, he he just like, like dude, you making videos of, of you working out half naked, bro. But we bringing out the scriptures and trying to help our people. That particular um, 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 scripture that I left, it could have helped him. Because he probably with a wicked ass woman because he's wicked as hell. You already know he's working out out here trying to get the beach body and shit to, to pull some of these these chicks because he probably ain't got no game. He he needs to, to look a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you know, but I wanted to just grab a couple of scriptures, man. I'm not going to keep it long. Matter of fact, let's get this Romans real quick. I wanted to grab this one in the Apocrypha. Well, let's get this Romans. Chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall that unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So, just because this nigga don't believe, that don't mean nothing. <laughs> you know, we're not going to, you're not going to change my mind. We know. You know, by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, these scriptures are true. And I, I laid it out for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, the dude, he's dead, right? The scriptures clearly says that a wicked woman is given to a wicked dude, roughly paraphrasing. He was wicked as hell. He was doing dirt. His dirty ass woman put him out there, even though she was his baby mama. The Lord sent the wicked ass woman to this wicked ass nigga and he got hit. So I told him that, okay, so that's one, <laughs> you know? So, and the heritage goes to, to prove that the truth is there. So the heritage is true as well. And also, you scoffing, the way that you're scoffing goes with the scriptures as well. So three strikes, you're out, buddy. Anyway, let's get this last um, scripture. I'm not going to keep this long. I want to get second address, chapter 15. Start from verse one. It says, behold. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. I cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So them scriptures, that scripture that I, I'm letting him know, hey, look, the scriptures basically, roughly paraphrasing, hey, they faithful and true, bro. You've proven it, just what you're scoffing. 
It's being proven just by, you can clearly see this wicked nigga got done. My wicked woman, man, the Lord sent sent to his ass, man. Because he was out here robbing. He was he was doing what, if what they say is true. If what she was saying was true in the video. They got his ass murked an hour later. She gave up the location. I'm like, oh, 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 okay, oh, that's homeboy. Right? So, oh, that's true. So, that, <laughs> it should be enough proof to you to let you, that the, the heritage is true. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, when we say that, you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's what the scriptures say. You have to have faith. We have faith that that's true. We have faith that the true name of the father is Yahweh. We have faith that the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. We have faith that we are the children of Israel and that the Lord is coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. Right? Verse 3, it says, fear not the imaginations against thee. See, we don't fear no, none, none of this shit these clowns be talking about. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. What does that word incredulity goes off into? Let me get the definition for that real quick. Incredulity. Let's see what the meaning is. It's a noun, the quality or state of being incre incredulous. Inability or unwillingness to believe. <laughs> no, we're not going to let your unbelief stagger our belief. Get the hell out of here, man. And like I said, again, you can clearly see this dude, he done been on there. His last video was three years ago of him working out on every video that he got up there. And he's probably literally probably 400 pounds right now. He probably ain't even stick to that shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, you know, when you see stuff like this, and this is for you new brothers, man, you know. You got to look at these people as just being who they playing a part. They're scoffers. They're mockers. That's their job. In a and you know it's crazy because the brother's been going up into it that it's scary, man, just knowing that the Lord just set you up to be a scoffer in this movie. So be thankful that you know what you know. You know what I'm saying? Be, be, be very, very thankful that you know what you know, man. Like for real, for real. The Lord could have could have gave this truth to anybody. It's billions of people on the planet. He could have gave this 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 truth to anybody, but he 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 chose you to know it. So be thankful for that, man. So I'm gonna end out there. I'm not gonna keep this long. With that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.